G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. Out with Brent Livingston today. We're doing something a little different. And by that, I mean doing exactly what I always do. Chasing fish. Now we're just down the Goldie. We're just gonna, we're land based today. So we're just gonna hit little beaches, park areas, bridges. Just, uh, you know, spots you can access on foot. Maybe some little landlocked lakes. But yeah, just gonna run around. I'm running a little gulp crabby and a flathead slash trevally jack type bait just a three inch white minnow x zone um Livo's running similar yeah he's crabby bait fish profile yeah just gonna see what's playing it's a beautiful day winter day no wind we've got a run out tide i think we're a day or two after the full moon yeah just gonna go fishing here we go a really beautiful day for it look at this Walk down close to the edge here and spook a big flathead. That'll be the way. Where are you going? Big bait first? Yeah, sure doing brim. I'll, well, I'll throw for a brim against the edge here. I'll go a bit wider. Try for a flat skull. What I'll end up doing is just fouling up on the rope first cast. I don't know, the rope's under. There's something just took off from near there, eh? Look at the bait stacked. Oh my lord. What did I say? Exactly what I just said, man. I walk down here and spook a big flathead. Dude, there's like a 70 to shot off. Legit, dude. Legit. Oh, and that's why you don't put your rods over the back of your shoulder. Look at that. I got all excited and threw that straight over that. What have I done, mate? Dude, that was a beast flatty, eh? Remember when you said to me, why are we starting here? And I was like, well, why not? To be fair, I'd be silly not to throw the flathead bait after seeing that. Oh, dude, look at the brim. <laughs> what am I gonna throw? Dude, there is a pack of brim there. If this doesn't get eaten. Yep. Dude, there was a pack of them. <laughs> First cast. I didn't even know what to throw. Spook the big flathead. Do I throw for flathead? And then a pack of brim comes swimming past. Like, well, clearly I better throw at those guys. What a start to the session, Livo. Hey, what a start. Did you see, was that a flatter he spooked or was that something coming after him then? I think he spooked a little flattered. Yeah, there's a flatty or something following him. He just puffed up sand again. He just, oh, it might have been like pike or something. Hey, that's not a bad start, mate. How's that for a start? First car, as soon as we walk down and I said it, and you do it every time. Don't walk straight up to the edge. Flathead loves sitting on edges, and we spooked a good flathead. And then a pack of brim come cruising that little net edge. Just threw that little crabby out, a little two inch crabby. Stocks of two and a halves are hard to come by at the moment, so fishing a little bait. That's a great start. What a start, Livo, eh? How's yeah. that for a start, brother? Classic brim eat that, eh? It was just a do nothing and the line just went whoop. Exactly like that, that's the sound it made. Whoop. Yeah, that's what I was saying, something was coming in there before. Maybe he wants a smaller bait. Did you have weed on it? Yep. <laughs> I said maybe, maybe he wants a smaller bait. 
<laughs> oh, that was him, tiny guy. There you go. There's another fish live -o. A little tiny flathead come following in Livo's bait and put a small bait behind him. Couldn't help himself. Problem is this so-called flathead rod is rigged on six pound because why not? That's what was tied on it. That's just that little X zone, three and a half inch swammer on a little three eighth ounce TT. 10 pound mainline, six pound leader. If I hook a big one, we're in for a fight. Flathead technique's basic, man. It's so easy. Just hop, 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 let it go back down. You're only just trying to puff the sand up, get a visual, get it up off the bottom, get them to see it. Usually they'll come swimming for a fair distance to get it. Not a bad start, mate. Livo. Right on cue, mate. Good one? Better than little, though. Yeah, he's a good one. He's all right. Told you, mate, this is the secret flathead spot. <laughs> he's not bad. No, he's a good 45. Maybe a legal fish. Hollywood dragon in there, but that's a fair point, man. You only chew through the leader. Just play it up. Play it up like a cut snake, mate. Come on, just give up. Oh, yeah. There you go. Easy as that, Livo. There you go, nice little floody. Uh, we're only about 15 minutes into our session and we produce good, uh, three good fish. So, uh, good start in the morning. So, the rest of the day should be good if we've uh, gone off the uh, first uh, 15 minutes of the day. All right, I'd like to say I've read the conditions and made a, an adjustment to what I'm throwing, but Really, I just got fouled up on the net. And um, the barb wipe. Yep. Ooh. Flathead. See, changed up that X zone. I did read the conditions. Now I've got six pound. Oh no, I've got 12 now. I retired with Livo's leader. Oh, we're good. We're good. Oh, he's got a brim folded in though. Catch the brim off his ass end. Here you go, I watch this. Let's see how skilled I can be. Where'd he go? He freaked. He freaked on the splash down. Nearly had him, man. Nearly had the double up. Two rod special. Oh, flat it doesn't like it. He was comfortable sitting there for a second. That would have been something new. Yeah, yeah nice little flathead. Just fishing the old kiddie pool. It's that little three and a half inch X zone swammer. It's an old TT head. Nice little flooded. I'll take that. There you go, lucky I put 12 pound on. You can see it's a bit scuffed up. Always check your lead, always do a retie after a flooded. Surely I can hit that edge from here, eh? Get mine out of the way. You didn't just go and hook the one we let go, did you? Of course it is. Oh, he's a good one, Livo. Back him off. No, but he's a good 55er, maybe. He's 
decent fish. Oh, get him up, Livo. Yeah, dude. Fat session already, man. There you go. We're on fire this morning. Mate, uh, every time I come with land, we catch, mate. So we're, uh, I'm super stoked already. Got some good, decent fish already. And we're really only really 50 minutes in our session where we're going really good. So um, looking forward to what the day uh, has in store for us, but super nice. Every chance there could be a big jack lives under that thing, Livo. Yeah, I'm not in a hurry to move, mate. When you're catching fish, you don't leave fish to find fish. Well, it'd be safe to say if we've plucked two decent fish from here, that there could be another two decent fish sitting there. Still two back where we come from. Still a few on the outside. This is what people ask me all the time. Like, where can I go land-based fishing? Where can I go? Like, we've never even fished here. Like, it's like, oh, let's just go try there. You hear, you throw on lures, catch fish. It's not hard. People think that, you know, oh, you're some sort of elite, you make YouTube videos. Well, clearly not, because if you see half my videos, I suck most of the time. This is pretty crazy though. These fish are stuck in here. It's like fishing in an aquarium. Oh, is that a puff of sand following my lure? Yeah, I thought I saw a little puff behind him. A little puff puff. A little puff puff give. Yep. Oh! Went for a bit of a run, that guy. Oh no! Oh, that was a good brim, dude. Damn it! Yep. Oh, dude! Yep. Oh, his mate had it. Nah, I think I spooked him. Should we go a couple more flathead casts in there or go for a walk up to that jetty, fish under it? Uh, we can walk and flathead fish up there. But there was more fish on that corner point. It's the same as anywhere. The corner's the current, the bait has to come past. It's... But to get to that corner, you gotta park and walk all the way down to the bastard. Flathead, surely. Target species. Like yep. A little flat scale. Let's go get another flathead and make a first move, eh? Should we just hit that call? Oh my lord. Just spooked another big flathead livo. Yeah, it was right there. Yeah, look at the sand. Yeah. Damn it! This is what I say, you always should throw along that bloody edge. Dude, it was in a foot of water. You say it every time, man. You never learn. The amount of flathead I've spooked doing that. Very similar size to that first one that we spooked, eh? That hurts, man. That hurts. Oh, I just spooked again. I didn't spook at that time. My lure was coming to it. It was just sitting there. It was like just there. Yep. 
There's some nice um, broken weed and stuff here, eh? Oh, there was one following it. I got a hit way out there and there was one following it the whole way back in, eh? Yeah, let's go, eh? That was a good start, mate. That was a good start. All right, we made a move. Just gonna do a bit of bridge hopping. We've got the last of this run out tide. Still a bit of dirty water coming out of the, the system up high here, but we hit a few bridges, just chasing brim. Livo still bought a big bait, you know, hooked on getting jacks and stuff, but I'm just gonna brim fish. You know, we'll hit a few of these bridges. Possibly hit a lake once there's a bit of incoming tide through one of the pipes. Probably end the afternoon up in one of the lakes, so... Yeah, brim on bridges is the goal. Let's see how we go. Scared of brim. Plenty of snags under this one, eh? They call this the shopping trolley bridge. Yep. Oh, dude! How did I not put a hook in that thing? That's just terrible. Yep. Oh, you had that and was swimming in with it. Well, let's try and be smart and I'll go crank a crab down next and see if they're not fully spooked and they eat a different bait. Uh, yeah, I'm running a 120th on the jig head and cranker crabs are heavy. What I will do is foul this up probably or get a fish. Oh, the tiniest brim you've ever seen. But he ate it, he ate the cranker. Can you even call that a brim? Uh, probably not. You probably can't, because it's a tar wine. How's that? You actually can't call that a brim, Livo. Because that's not a brim. Ow, 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 oh, nearly lost him. That is a little tar wine. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I'll let you have a cast up there, man. There you go. I'll do this. I'll do this. Yeah, but have the first shot. See if you get one. First in, man. First in, we'll get him. If you are bloody on the poles. Yep. That's a fish. I'll speak a little bit deep and wipe that bit down there. That's a brim. Yeah, that one's a brim. Now it's Scoffed it, didn't he? I think I need a little bit of weight for this. What are you running? Just a bit of weight. Yeah, I go for 20th in this situation, typically. There you go, not a bad brim. Good little start to the bridge hopping session. Ow, sorry buddy. They like being spiky today. Yep. Oh, dude. Classic eat, man. Just watch that slack rip out of the line. Probably pulled the bait clean off. Oh, throwing it straight over a snag up here now. What'd I say about it being called the shopping trolley bridge? Shopping trolley. I can see one, two, three right here in front of me. 
No. Gone. I don't know if you can see if I change the angle. One, two, three, four. There's trolleys everywhere. What do you do? We'll cross the road instead of going back through that lethal shit, eh? Well, that was fun. Did you just get hit? Oh, my, that big thing. Livo! That's your jack, bro. Through the middle or past the pole? Yep. <gasps> what is wrong with me? Dude, that thing was on. Dude, how does that happen, man? That is Bullshit. What a joke, man. That was a good fish. Shaking his head and carrying on. How the bloody hell does the hooks pull? Doesn't even make sense, mate. Two missed opportunities here. Livo rolling the big bloody atomic plazo, the big prong. And got drilled on his bait cast gear. And I just pulled the hooks on a good brim, man. It's crazy. There's no point hanging around too long on these bridges. It's really a run and gun technique, man. It's just hit them. Cross over. Run and gun, man. Run and gun. Yeah, it should be slowing up up here soon. Oh, don't do that. What have you got on hook? He's got a brim on the cranker crab. Livo the brim lord. He was just about to bring it in. We we're going to make a move. That's the big cranker too. It's a good fish. Thanks. First brim in session. Yeah, that's not bad. Got him right off the bottom too. So, uh, yeah, move on. Bridge hopping brims, man. Told you. Ooh, Told man. you. He's right on the bottom, too. Let's go hit a lake. It's getting dirty. Bottom of the tide. Mm -hmm. We'll find some more. Those bridges, those look ready, eh? Oh, man, they're super sharp. Super sharp, fine gauge. They will go in your skin. All right, made a move. Just hitting a little landlocked lake. Chasing brims, trevally and stuff, you know, I've seen in the past. It's got a little top water, a little crabby. See how we go. And it's got a little PX55 on top water bait. Give that a run. That's the only problem with this place. Every flaming dog gets in the flaming water. It's a pretty featureless lake. Like, there's a few trees in the water over there. And there's a little bit of structure up this side. Hmm, might need to make another move soon. Yeah, there's a good little, yep. Tiny. Tiny dude. Brim though. There you go, made a move. It's a little landlocked lake. That main river was pretty dirty, so we we'll just have a dabble in a couple of these spots. Probably try and hit one more before we call it quits, but this little gulp crabby eater. Not huge, but mixed bag of locations and stuff today man he got that in the corner good man yeah we're making a move I'm gonna try it one more lake time's getting away from us this was a 
disappointment. We've got one brim. But see how traffic is, we'll try and shoot down the motorway and hit up one more. Chance of a decent brim in there, there's tarp on and stuff, so got something for Livo to throw his big baits at. And I'll catch the brims. Ah, right, see you down there. Alright, we're coming into the death, we're just hitting a few lakes. That's that one, two, this is the third lake we've hit. Fourth. Just doing little stops, man, just trying to find something, trying to make something happen. High fence fishing, Livo. High fence, mate. A little flatty, bro. The flat skull king. On the plaza. Not yeah. bad, mate, not bad. I'll pay that. Oh! Something was chasing those fish, Livo. Yep. Gotcha. He's just a little tucker. Oh, he's all right. He's not super tiny. High fence brim. This high fence operation. All right, is he gonna come up? I've gotta lift him up. Got him, Livo! He's not bad. There you go, nice little brim. Just out of this high fence operation they got running here. Just keep them locked away so the general angler can't get to them. I'll take that though. I'll take that. Oh, that thing! Where'd that go? Dude, a fish just charged into the shallows there chasing something. Big bow wake and everything on it. Oh, dude, eat it, buddy. Took another one of my, oh, right there. That's a GT, man. I should have that on the camera. It was pointing straight out that way. Well, let's go check out that bottom end and call it a day, eh? Oh, you had it, dude. I backed that drag. Oh, you backed it off when I had to swap the batteries. Oh, there's Livo. Get your bait at that. That was chasing bait as well. Surely you get eaten, mate. Big predatory fish chasing bait, surely. Last cast. Oh, dude, just eat it, man. I have to say, I haven't caught a trevally ever. Really? No. Um. Oh, oh, what the hell was that? Well, we caught fish, mate. We caught fish. Uh, that's always the way. All right, that's the end of the session. That was a good little day. Bit of a variety, a bit of flats fishing, some flathead, some brims, lakes, some bridges, all the cool stuff. That's it, heading home. Thanks for watching. Thanks for fishing, Livo. As always. It's good times. All right, catch you next time. Cheers, guys. Picking up sloppy snotty shit through there.